Uh, four games without a win. Um, the the performance overall was a little better. Like it wasn't bad. Well, it was. The football was absolutely dead. It's hard to explain. Like yeah, we created things. We just looked devoid of any sort of cohesion or anything in the in the final third in particular. As soon as it entered there, players didn't know what to do. What really worries me is even players who flourished under Mourinho, so Lukaku, Matic, Lingard, I know he didn't play this game, but those type of players, even they look clueless. Like The, the entire squad just looks disjointed, disheartened, devoid of any any sort of confidence. Like, uh, honestly, nothing. It doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. Like, in the first half, Alexis was playing so deep, and then you had Lukaku drifting off to the right, leaving no one in the middle. Like, the, the, occasionally Rashford or Pogba would run in there, but it was just too slow. Like, no one seems to know where they're supposed to be. Everyone's far too deep. Our best chance until about 70 minutes was literally where no one was in the opposing half, not one. I think it was a, a, from a corner or something. Alexis Sanchez picks the ball up in his own half, dribbles into the half. Rashford makes a run. He literally hoofs the ball about 60 yards. Uh, I, I think it's Gabriel Palista. Heads it down, and Pogba's running in as well, and he smashes it, and it deflects out for a corner. That was our best chance uh, until we actually had a shot on target with Lukaku. But, yeah, like another poor performance from Lukaku. I think it's a mixture of everything. Like, Personally, the players' performances, I, I, I don't think you can blame themselves. Like, yes, they've got to take some blame, but unlike West Ham, it does seem as though the players actually tried today, but it looks as though the systems, they just don't understand it. Like, I, I, it's horrible. It really is horrible. The only three players that really played well today were Rashford. He, he deserved a goal. Like, more than anyone in this team uh, today, he, he deserved a goal. Like, you, you could see, he, he cared. He cared. Um... Shaw played another great game. Uh, one of the few bright sparks this season. I've got him on the back of this shirt. Uh, yeah, I, I really, really am hoping he continues this form. Obviously, I want the team to do better, though. As does he. Like He gave a damning uh, response uh, to the West Ham game. Like Fair play to him. He, he understands it's uh, not good enough. I know it's obvious, but you know what I mean. It's nice to... The way he said it, but anyway, um, Pogba played well as well. Um, if Rashford wasn't going to get a goal, you thought it would come from Pogba. But yeah, like it was terrible. Valencia could have scored two, at least in the first half, if they'd had a better player than Guardes. I know he's young, but he, he, he caused so much, so many issues. But kind of like our attack, he uh, couldn't provide anything in the final third, thankfully for us. But he always seemed to be in 20 yards of space. Honestly, it, it, Mourinho's time's up. Like, I hate saying it. I have been a, a massive defender of Mourinho. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but yeah, like this was the man I really wanted at Old Trafford. This is the man I believed in, I thought would change everything. But he, he doesn't even seem as though he cares, if I'm honest. Like, it, it looks as though... You know, he, he's just waiting for that severance package. And it, it's best for the club, it's best for Jose, it's best for the players. If we do do that, like, we, we move on and, uh, yeah, look past Mourinho. And I hate saying that because I've always liked him. Like, back when he was at Chelsea, honestly, I've always liked him. Uh, he might not have been the most popular figure, particularly with the brand of football he plays, but he was always a winner. And he's not winning at the minute. Yes, it's only four games, but we're 10th in the Premier League. We're in danger of not qualifying now. I know we're on four points, but Juventus twice in a row. Yes, we've got young boys. We should pick up three points from that, you would imagine. Um, but then Valencia away on the final game, probably needing to win that or at least get a point. Like at The way we're playing at the minute, that's dangerous. So, yeah, we are in danger of not qualifying. Um, out of the League Cup. It's just looking bleak. Things need to change, and the longer we wait, the the more chance of not being able to do anything, and then having another time where a new manager comes in, and we're not in the Champions League. We've got to get back into it. You you know, players aren't going to want to come. Well, maybe they will if it's a new manager. 
I don't want that to process again. We've already had that three times. And yes, you could argue um, the turning of managers is just too much. You know, we shouldn't get into that. But some of the most successful teams in recent years, you look at Chelsea, they've sacked the, well, Mourinho, then Conte. Both of them won the Premier League. And then they've got the new manager in. And now we've got Sarri, who looks as though he's potentially going to win the uh, Premier League. He's challenging for it. And they're, they're just making decisions like that. Like As soon as there's a bad streak, that's it. You're out and move in. And it's working for them. Like They've won stuff. Uh, obviously, Real Madrid up until Zidane did that. Uh, there's there's countless clubs who do it. And yes, I know the traditions of the club, you know, to keep managers, etc. But in the modern age of football, that's going to be extremely difficult. It really is. Like Even a manager like Zidane for Real Madrid, who won three Champions Leagues, yes, he left of his own volition, but there you go. Like, he, he didn't want to stay for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, he was, well, a huge success story. Uh, you look at Ranieri for Leicester, he got sacked uh, after poor season. So, yeah, it, 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 I hate it. I hate it, man. I honestly hate it. I love Mourinho, but he's got to go. He's got to go. And I know it's only a draw. We haven't actually lost, but it, it's just stopping something from happening before it actually happens. Because if, if we go out and go into the Europa League, like finish third in the group, go into the Europa League, we're stranded in 12th or 14th, 20-odd points away from the title, 15 away from top four. That's no good for the new manager who comes in. Like, it's better to cut it early. Problem is, I don't think we are going to. I think the board will, will wait for as long as they possibly can until it's a ridiculous, uh, like I say, until we're out of everything and the new manager can't possibly turn anything around until next season. <sighs> I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong.